Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn STA instruction of 8085 microprocessor with examples. Here ST stand for store, A stand for accumulator. So this instruction will store the value of accumulator on memory location whose address given in instruction. So let's try to understand format of this instruction. Okay. Suppose instruction is STA. 2030H STA 2030H. So what will happen because of this instruction? Whatever value accumulator is holding will get copied on 2030H memory location. Okay, in the memory whose address is 2030H. That's why what happens because of this instruction? The content of accumulator. We read this square bracket as content of content of accumulator get copied to content of given address. Let's talk about addressing mode. Addressing mode totally depends on operand of instruction. So let's say instruction is STA 5030H. So over here addressing mode will be direct addressing mode. Why? Because operand is address over here. So whenever operand is address, whenever operand is address, its addressing mode becomes direct addressing mode. In this instruction two parts are there. Opcode is STA, operand is 5030H address and whenever operand is address, at that time its addressing mode becomes direct addressing mode. So addressing mode will be direct addressing mode. What should be the group of this instruction? Since in this instruction, let's say instruction is STA 3070H. In this instruction, what we are doing? We are transferring the data from accumulator to memory whose location is 3070H. So we are transferring data from accumulator. That's why this instruction is from data transfer group. Then how many byte instruction it will be? Let's take example STA 7090H. So it will be a three byte instruction. Why three byte instruction? Because four digit number is there in instruction. See STA will take first byte 70h will take second byte and 90h will be our third byte that's why you can remember in this shortcut way if four digit number is there in instruction then it will be a three byte instruction that's why sta is three byte instruction then how many flags this instruction is going to affect this instruction will not affect any flag because this instruction belongs to data transfer group and only arithmetic group or logical group instruction affects the flag Flags are getting affected when we perform arithmetic or logical operations. That's why no flags are affected. Now let's take example over here. Suppose instruction is STA 2030H. So before execution, what we should check? Before execution, we should check what is value of accumulator. Also, what is content of 2030H memory location? So it is a memory location 2030H. And what's its value? Let's say its value is 50H and accumulator is holding 37H. So because of this instruction, what will happen? The value of accumulator get copied on 2030H location. So after execution of this instruction, the content of 2030H memory location will change and it will become content of accumulator, which was 37H. So it will become 37H and content of accumulator will remain unchanged, which will remain 37H. Let's take one more example to understand it clearly. Suppose instruction is STA 7000H. So 7000 is memory location. So before execution, we should check the content of accumulator as well as content of 7000H memory location. Suppose content of 7000H is 22H and content of accumulator is 11H. So after execution, what will happen? The content of accumulator will get copied on this memory location. So content of 7000H memory location will change and it will become 11H, whereas content of accumulator will remain 11H. Now let's see some problems for practice. So problem number one says that Instruction is STA 5020H. In accumulator, we have 22H 
and on 50 20h memory location data is 35h so what will after what will happen after execution of sta 50 20h write your answers in comment as well as let's take problem number 2 Problem number two says that instruction is SPA 8090H and accumulator is holding 17H and on 8090H value is 66H. So after execution of SPA 8090H, what will happen that we need to tell in comments. Thank you.